Hello and welcome everybody to this Azure Synapse Espresso. I'm joined here today by Jennifer, and we're going to talk about a very specific problem you will face when using serverless SQL pools. Let's say you've built your data lake and you want to create a view on those, um, those tables that you created in your data lake. That's going to cause you to do a lot of manual work. Now, Jennifer has, has a solution for this, but first of all, Jennifer, please introduce yourself. Of course. Hello, everyone. My name is Jennifer Santos. I'm a principal software engineer in the industry solution engineering team, uh, part of the data tech domain. Okay, cool. So uh, today we're going to talk about an automatic view creation uh, script that you have created and that you've put on GitHub for everybody to use. Um, so first of all, like Jennifer, what have you created and how does it work? So when we work with Delta Lake and serverless, we realize that we have some challenges uh, in terms of automation and also in terms how um, how we need to access to, to the Delta Lake. So normally we cannot use external tables because uh, partitioning elimination is not supported. So we need to use um, partitioned views in this case. Uh, as we know, in the data lake, we may have a lot of files and this automation um, from the data lake to the view, it might be a, a little bit painful if, if it's not at, automated, right? Also, the data lake might need to be updated. Uh, so we came up with a solution that will help with that automation. And that's what we are sharing with you today. Okay. Here we have uh, the Synapse uh, workspace, uh, and this is a pipeline uh, that was designed specifically to tackle this challenge. So, in the first uh, in the first piece, what we do is really uh, the setup uh, of the serverless uh, object. So, creating the database, the external data sources, and uh, more interestingly, uh, creating the store procedure. So uh, after we execute the second pipeline, which is really described here in the setup, um, you see we are doing these three things. Uh, and the result of uh, executing that pipeline visible here in the database, so we created a serverless database, uh, and you will see here on your external data sources that we create are also uh, external data source. The third piece though, is not visible here on Synapse Studio. And that's a little trick that we want to share with you today is the third piece actually creates a store procedure. Uh, the way that you have to visualize the create a store procedure is actually connecting to the serverless endpoint uh, in SQL Server Management Studio. So with that, you can see that we created the store procedure. Now, this is just set up and the creation of, of the artifacts that we need. The second piece uh, is actually using a configuration file that will tell us which, in this case, years and months, uh, we need to ingest. The configuration file looks something like that. So we are deciding which year, which month. And in this case, we are using the New York uh, City taxi sample open uh, data, which is uh, very known and easy to understand. Uh, so from that data set, we are uh, exactly saying what we want to ingest. We are saying which permissions we want to give in the data lake. And then we are using these two fields, last updated source system and last updated data lake to decide if we will re-ingest, ingest as a new, or if we skip ingestion that was actually not, not updated since the last time. So we are more effective while driving the ingestion. So while well, well, this uh, configuration file is, is read, then what we do is we call a third pipeline, which is the ingestion pipeline. And here is exactly where the entire trick comes <laughs> together. So we will uh, delete uh, the previous versions uh, of the data lake if they were previously ingested. Uh, we will copy, uh, and this is just these two uh, notebooks are really just to get some data into the data lake. Uh, we, this data is in parquet format, but we are testing Delta Lake, so we just transform it to Delta. 
And so when we do this, we have some data in our data lake. But this is where magic happens still. We, here we will be able to create or to call uh, our previously created sort procedure with some base parameters um, that we or dynamic parameters that we want to pass. So the result of doing this is actually what was already visible here in Management Studio, but you can also see it uh, in Synapse Studio is the view creation that will be aligned with your uh, data lake. And uh, this combination of year, months, this, this was everything that was defined on your config file and is perfectly aligned to what you will find on your data lake. Hopefully I can go here. You have some months that have more months and this is what you can find in the views. By querying the views, you can see you can have your results. And this is how you can automate and tackle that automation challenge uh, with views uh, and the Synapse pipeline. To summarize, by using this sample that is part of the modern data warehouse repository in Azure samples, you can be able to design your smart ingestion based on a JSON config file. Uh, you can also apply uh, ACL smartly after the ingestion uh, on your data lake. So you can be super granular uh, around the permissions in each level of your hierarchy. Uh, and lastly, there's a piece that you can also use to drive your data retention requirements. So it can go through the partition level physically, or it can, uh, it's also demoed uh, with a specific date field in the data lake. So you are welcome to go and explore the repo. Um, there are some more other things being added. Uh, we have also a column level security uh, demoed on this very same sample, and you are welcome to contribute is open uh, and we are uh, always trying to improve it. Awesome solution, Jennifer. So it basically gives you automatic view creation based upon your data lake. This is an, an issue that a lot of people face. So go and check out that GitHub. It's one of the samples that's being used a lot by a lot of customers, but go and look at it. It's under constant development and it's free to use. Um, now, if you've liked the video of today, um, just give us a big thumbs up. Uh, and if this is the uh, first time you're visiting our channel and you really like the content that we're giving you, uh, just subscribe to the channel. There's a load of content on this on Azure Synapse, uh, and we're happy to answer any questions you might have in the comments. Um, as always, from the Azure Synapse Espresso team, this is Stan. And Jennifer. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.